Welcome back once again to HowToCookFood.com. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Okay, on the menu today, we're going to make a fantastic lamb bruna. Really lovely curry, this. Let me just run through some ingredients. We'll start off with the start of the show. Here's our lamb. There's no bone in this one. You can make it with bone. I'm making this without bone. It's nice and lean. Little bit of fat on it, which is good. Plenty of chopped onions, nice and small. So you want to get this nice and smooth. I've got some mustard seed oil there. Okay, on the side here, I've got... I've got like two or three medium sized tomatoes, I put them in my blender and whizzed them up so we've got a nice fresh puree. Here I've got about 100 grams of fresh yoghurt, we're going to add that later. Flipping over to this side I've got some fresh coriander, again beautiful right at the end. Here I've got some garlic and ginger paste finely minced and in the centre I've got a few spices happening, let's just run through them. So here are my whole garam masala, so I've got bay leaf, cloves, cinnamon, green cardamom and some dried chilli. Next to that is some powdered garam masala which we'll add at the end. That goes in at the beginning, that goes in right at the end. And then in between here I've got some salt, I've got chilli powder, cumin powder and coriander powder, about the same amounts, these three. Now if you want, you could use just your favourite curry powder, I don't think it's quite the same. So. If you can go this this way, this version is much much better. It's going to taste really more, you know, really authentic. We need to get over to this cooker, start cooking our lovely onions and lamb. First of all, let's go. Okay. So as you can see, I've got my pan on. It's on a fairly high heat. I've got my mustard oil in. Mustard oil is, is, is quite essential to this. If you don't have it, just use another oil. But it is good. Let's start by getting in our whole garam masala, those bay leaves, that cinnamon those cardamoms, that little bit of chilli and those cloves. Simply just give these like 30 seconds, not, not even that sometimes, depending on what, what different types of garam masala you've got. All we just want to do is get that oil heated through these and they're going to release loads of aromas of their own, their natural goodness into our oil which gives it a real sort of nice base start. They're just starting to slightly pop and crackle. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in now, as you can see, with my onions. Quite a lot of onions for this dish. I mean, there's more onions in this than there is lamb. And you can see that I've cut them really small. And that's because we're going to, I mean, it's going to take quite a while this dish to cook. It's not instant, but we're going to kind of cook these down until, you know, we get a nice smooth paste. So, just like that, I'm going to cook this. It's probably going to take seven, eight minutes. Keep stirring it. I'll be back then. So, as you can see, our onions are coming on really nicely. And our whole garam masala is really doing its job. I mean smell coming out of this is fantastic. Now let's get our lamb in. Like I said, I've got some nice stripped lamb here, nice and lean. That little bit of fat that you can see on it, it's fantastic. Don't take that off, you kind of need that. A little bit of fat's always good. And again, what we're going to do here, and this is kind of what makes a buna, we're going to add a sauce, but it's going to kind of be fairly dry, but frying this beef with these onions is a big part of this dish. So we're going to just do what I'm doing right now, stirring this around. Again, I'm on a kind of fairly high heat. And we're going to cook this just like this for about six or seven minutes. I'll see you then. Okay, look at that. Absolutely fantastic. The beef is cooking nicely, nice and fried. Onions are looking great. Now I'm going to add in our garlic ginger paste. Sort of 50 50 mix that is. And our tomatoes. Purified fresh tomatoes. Makes a massive difference. Don't, really, don't use that packet stuff, it's not so good. That a good mix. Okay, 
plenty of moisture in there now. Going to pop the lid on, lower the heat. That needs to cook for at least 15 to 20 minutes. See you then. Should we take a look? A little bit of steam out so it doesn't cover the lens for you. That is looking fantastic to me. Okay, now it's time for some spices, our whole spices. We've got coriander, there's salt, there's cumin, and there's chili powder. About equal amounts, like I said. Give that a good stir. It's going to be absolutely delicious, this dish, honestly. Really, really nice it's going to be. Okay, our fresh coriander. Let's just add a little bit of that now. We're going to add some more later. Touch now, touch later. Stir that in. Now, I'm going to cook this with the lid off now for about another six, seven minutes. I'm going to raise the heat a little bit, not to a rage, but just up a little bit, medium heat now. I want to dry this out a little bit. Keeping the lid on obviously keeps a lot of the moisture inside. We've done that to kind of break down our tomatoes and get them to this stage. We now want to kind of dry this out a little bit, lid off, stir it every now and then, see you in a moment. Okay, look at that, that's nice and dry now, or certainly drier than it was. Now while this whole process is going, our lamb is getting really tender. You need to cook your lamb, for, or beef if you're going to use beef for example, for quite a long time to get it really nice and succulent. Okay, now we're going to add our yoghurt to that. Plain, straight, natural yoghurt, or curd, as it's called in some places in the world. I'm going to give that a good mix in. Then we're going to add the lid, cook it on a very low heat now, again for about 10 minutes this time, let it all come together, let that yoghurt really work in there. And apart from a couple of other little bits to do, this will be done. So lid on, lower the heat, see you in 10 minutes. Okay, the final stage. I've just turned the heat off now. I'm going to now add a little bit more of our fresh coriander just to finish it off. And then, if you remember that, a little bit of garam masala powder, a little finishing powder there. A little sprinkle on. Give this a mix. Check it for salt. I've checked mine, it's fine. This is going to be great with some roti, rice, chapati, anything you like. Just absolutely delicious. You've got a really nice rich sauce there. That meat is incredibly tender. Hope you enjoy it. See you again next time. Bye bye.